little change of scenery. I know some of you are familiar with me sharing halls with you guys and I'm usually sitting on a chair in a little different setup but today you're in my basement with me. Uh, the kids are home virtual school so you'll probably hear some footsteps going around or some yelling or something will happen but I hope you have been enjoying a couple of the shop with me's that I've been able to scoot out to Dollar Tree and share some of the new finds that are out there and I have a few goodies um, and also be kind of reorganizing and moving things around in my craft room so hopefully I'll share that as well if that's something of interest to you guys on how I use organization tools from Dollar Tree and then incorporate them into my craft room. I also want to say thank you so very much to Top Cashback for sponsoring today's video. If you haven't heard of Top Cashback, they are an amazing online site that you can shop. You kind of just add them as either a Chrome extension or you can visit their website and they pay you for shopping. So if you're going to Dollar Tree and ordering some things either to have it shipped to your local store or uh, to your home, you can get 4% cash back just for shopping through Dollar Tree. And I know some of you often say, well, you have to order a a dozen or two dozen items of the same thing. Right now, Dollar Tree does offer smaller quantities. So if you're looking for some craft goodies that you can't get your hands on in store and you only need a couple items of it, say even four, they're allowing that. It's a great little opportunity for you to save some money for even just shopping at Dollar Tree. Also guess this time of year has their winter things on a sale. So I tend to browse their site and I think they're offering 7%. Amazon is on there, Walmart, Shein, I think is how you pronounce it. There are over 4,000 retailers on Top Cashback. So you definitely want to check it out. Follow the link in the description down below and they will offer you $10 for the first $25 that you spend. So I highly recommend it. I think I have earned over $300 with them and I do, you know, once in a while I do some good online shopping, but I just absolutely love, love their program and it's so easy to sign up for you visit topcashback.com you enter your email and a password and you join for free and i want to say thank you again to top cashback for sponsoring my video today so straight into the haul now um the organizer with lid i have shared with you numerous times on how i've used it how i've used it in the past in my craft room i think i have some new things i would like to add to them but these are stackable and they have three little separate dividers which make for wonderful organization tool in your craft room they also have these that are stackable and they're a cube size and they have a lid on the top as well i always like things that have a lid because unless they are stackable on purpose without a lid then it saves space in the sense that you can stack things on top rather than just sliding this on a shelf and then all of a sudden well you can't put anything else on top so if you can get these nice and high you just are conserving your a little bit of space on the bottom but then going upwards if that makes sense kind of like a building versus like lots of houses in a row i guess um ceramic painting set there's a little bear they had some other ones i think they had a little heart forget the figurines but this one here stood out to me just because he was holding a little heart and i think he's really cute and then they had some of the silver paper foil. They're called condom and cups. They are large and they're small. So the 48 pieces are small. And I just really like these for little muffins or little baked goodies. If you make pretzels wrapped in chocolate or for Easter, I think there's like the little Easter nest that you can make. And if you're crumbling up pretzels and dipping them in chocolate and then putting the little Easter eggs, they always look really sweet in one of the little, the little foils if you're, you know, giving them away as, as little treats. Yeah, we'll talk a little bit about that. So Diamond Cosmetics, you guys hear me talk about the really thick diamond nail file, which I use for faux nails, right? Acrylics and stuff. I would never recommend that on a real nail because it's just really, really rough. Um, it's fantastic in the craft room if you're doing wood projects or mod podging and decoupaging and then rough roughing uh, spots up these ones are actually the thinner ones and these are safer on a real nail on a real nail bed so those are these are the valentine's day theme ones they had some other ones i spotted as well but i just really like this print it has uh, little hearts and bows and arrows and you'll probably see these in the gift area up at the front of the store or you will find them in the toiletry aisle if not where are the shampoos and conditioners it's kind of like separate then um, Rebel has still been kicking around our stores. They were not, they were taken off the shelf because they were ringing in at a penny. So Dollar Tree had pulled them, but now they're back out. 
Uh, so I guess maybe they were sitting in the back row. These are $10 at Walmart. I'm not sure if it's a fantastic brand, but I got the smoothing conditioner and the dry shampoo. I just thought I couldn't beat the price for dry shampoo almost. Um, other than they do have the big salon selective ones from Dollar, at Dollar Tree. But for a brand name, and I'm not sure if anyone has any feedback on it, but there's this one here and this, and they had shampoo and a ton of other ones. And I did buy dry shampoo a couple months ago, and I just, I think it works well. So that's my feedback on it. But if anyone else wants to say anything about it, please let me know. LED photo clip string lights. How cute are these? So these are selling really fast. If you see them, this will be really cute for Valentine's Day if you want to put some pictures or for Easter if you want to make you know hang little lights and pictures of little bunnies maybe like a vintage theme or something I think that would be really sweet micro beads and flakes so I purchased this to go on top of these so I will show you an idea with a star for Christmas that I purchased and it's color your own ornament so I thought you know how cute would it be for the hearts so there are they're seed beads well not really seed beads but like little peb little pebbles and then little balls i'm gonna call them seed beads but they're not because there's no uh, space for a, a string to go through it so i was thinking i will transform this into the idea that i have with the star where you're gonna like glitter the area up you can stain it first or you don't have to you can stain just the border if you prefer and then glitter the surface add some glue and then you know layer it up with these things we'll see if it turns out i purchased that heart i purchased this heart lots of hearts uh wood hanging and this one is like one two three four five like ten of these it's like so thick um it's even thicker than this pack here that has five so this is a really unique piece that I really I thought would look really pretty and then the heart grapevine I feel like I have a pack of these from last year as well so finally I can maybe put them all together and run them across the fireplace mantle or something on the sorts and then also I thought maybe incorporating the little tea the little lights to it and maybe like separating it and doing something fun that way so we'll see but that's a really fantastic fantastic find as well have you guys been finding anything like that you think is totally worth it at dollar tree that you would recommend to someone else brand named items or even just like the dollar tree finds that are coming out for the season i purchased this ribbon so they had the hearts they had a little ladybug they had um they had different patterns this one stood out to me it's glittery the little hearts and it matches i'll find it in a minute anyways there there's little bags that are matching like an umbrella with a red or with a baby pink and i just i really liked i thought i could do something with reds but now i'm almost thinking i should have got the baby pink uh, or the pink i'll show you in a minute sticky thumb ac um which is american crafts currently is back out at our dollar trees which i'm super happy about because they have the recollections from michael's and then all of a sudden the american crafts things are showing up and they have scrapbooking paper or crepe paper as you might want to call it as well and then i found another one of these sticky thumbs two-sided adhesive tape this is a really great product if you are into making paper crafts or if you do work with like layering or making shaker pockets and stuff this stuff comes in such it's just so useful and i love it and i like having a double-sided tape on hand so spooky chocolate chips recently found a ton of these my kids eh, they're okay um they don't typically like bear paws so as like just a one-off chance that they do like it there was this one and there was a chocolate banana but they said no to that one so i grabbed this one and then i purchased paper cups these are 10 these are selling very fast as soon as they hit the shelf they pretty much go it has little gold heart prints and these are i think cute for could you make like um a cupcake or like a giant muffin or something in them uh, so there's 10 of these now you will find just the standard white ones in the regular party supply area all year round but I just like that these were pink and with little foils. And I think the regular white ones, if I'm not mistaken, only come with an eight or maybe it's 12. I forget. It was one either was less or more. Vitamin C just purchased to have in the car. Sometimes your throat gets a little dry. 
Not that it's, uh, they're just drops, orange drops, but the Vicks, I like having them in the vehicle. Either that or mint. Sometimes you just don't have water and you feel like you need to have an emergency, you know, <laughs> Uh, suck on something so it happens to be either a mint or one of the, um, one of the Vicks vitamin C's. To you guys about something that I was very happy. I know it's really random and weird of me to get excited about stuff like a small thing like this but the wood panels that were I accidentally at a Christmas time I made a beautiful sign using one of these and I shared it with you and created it and I think I want to do something for Valentine's Day and then for Easter. And then I went into the store looking for more of these, but I came home with three more of these. And I got home and I was hauling it and sharing it with you guys and the, the tree was in the background and I went to grab my sign and when I went to grab it, I realized, hold on a second, this was way smaller than what I had made. And I was like a little bit bummed. I thought, oh, that's it. They're not gonna, they cut down the sizing because you know, sometimes Dollar Tree does that to us. Uh, and that's the end of that. But then I walked in and oh, here they were. And I was like, three more for me. So you see how it makes a huge difference that just that little bit of surface area, it makes a huge difference when you're crafting. So I'm very excited and bought three more. And there's tons of them. So I was like, yay, I can share that with you guys. This is also a fantastic find for organization. So they have the really thin ones, which I typically do like to store lights and things like that in my craft room for when I need to pull them out. They're all like nice and stacked. I usually keep my lights in them. And then another one, I have some stickers that I haven't transferred over to my binder system, but we don't talk about that stuff. But this one here is so nice and deep. I know it's supposed to be like for cookies and kitchen storage, but I always look at things a little different. Look how much, like how nice and deep and you can really stock or stack a lot of things in here and store a lot of things in here for your craft room. Put a lid on it. Well, make sure that your lid fits your container because I'm not sure now what's happening here, but I might have grabbed the lid that doesn't fit this container. And so now we're in a little bit of troubles because I think it might be for the other. I just grabbed it off the shelf and I should have tested it at the store. No, it looks okay. It looks like it fits. Okay. So anyways, just make sure your lid fits your container in the store because this looks like it's, I thought it was my little package, but it's not closing properly so I might have to just speak to someone about exchanging enough to fit this one this one looks like it's supposed to fit the lower ones because maybe it's a little bit wider anyways I love it because you can stack them so just be mindful that you check the lids at the store because that's not a good experience if I'm going to be honest if they don't fit um I've never had a problem with the lids and containers before the Stephen Land socks are back and um there's different prints from previous years. So the, um, was it last year or the year before? They had a bunch of funky socks. They had all sorts of crazy patterns on them, but now they're a little bit more of the basic ones. These are $19.99 standard price or most suggested retail price, which I think for our Dollar Tree pricing, it's fantastic. So these are blue and these are men's. They're considered men's socks, but I mean, anyone can wear them. And then those. I don't think men's socks and women's socks like is is there really a big difference oh is this so i want to ask is craft dinner we're not a craft dinner family but um i thought i'd try it because my daughter's little friend was over once and asked to buy it we went to dollar tree together and then she said can we get craft dinner i really like it and she wanted to make it so i said yeah no problem so my daughter tried it and she's like yeah i could eat it mom um so is craft dinner not in america because I was showing you guys like there were some flavor packages, which I had never seen actually here in Canada that you can put on your craft dinner or maybe your own macaroni. I do make macaroni and cheese at home, but just from scratch. And uh, somebody said, oh, are you in Canada based on like, I think that clip. So let me know if you're in the US, do you guys have craft dinner, Katie? Because it just says, it's a Heinz, I guess, like Haynes Heinz. It doesn't say where it's made. I'm interested about that because it's like such a staple almost everywhere. Crafter Square, these are back, the glue guns. However, they are ringing through at $1.50. So sometimes things don't have a sticker. And I know that we've all seen price increases, but these are $1.50 now, no longer $1.25. I had to. I had to buy the stickers. 
um they got me i absolutely love these i don't know if you guys can see them so beautiful look at the detail the swirls just oh, the little polka dots the cherry on top i just oh my goodness i love them love them love them and even that they're foil which is not usually my go-to like i don't gravitate towards foiled stickers i just i couldn't pass these up i couldn't leave them behind and i'm so glad i bought them and then these are felt felt they're not even regular stickers they're the fuzzies they remind me of like when i was a kid and you get like a scratchy and smell sticker that was like fuzzy and you got to scratch it they had little like smelly cakes and cupcakes and you can scratch and smell and it just reminded me of that and i was like oh my gosh i have to have a look at the little ice cream truck i have to have that and the koalas got me i think that's what actually alerted me to the fact that they were felt and they have foiling all around them these are just perfection i that i probably should have grabbed more than one patch but i was trying to be good by the way these are out now um i <laughs> in my video when i first found the small wall shelf packages i said hey dollar tree if you're listening out there it would be awesome if you gave us like a long rectangular plank and then i walk into dollar tree and i'm like wow the dollar tree gods were listening um, so here we are with one long rectangular plank. The smaller ones, I think the smaller shelves come with two planks, but I really needed a long one. So here we are. And for that price, I don't think you can really go wrong for a real piece of wood. Now do be careful because when I was going through the box, some of them were all chipped or had a shred of, of wood that was missing. If you're only using one side, then it's good, but just make sure. And some of them were a little bit cracking along the sides too. So just be picky if you're doing that and then they have the little tins this is metal um and they it has a little bow and the little glitter heart now they had red pink and the metal one i just purchased this one and it has distressing they did a really great job on that heavy duty black tape i have a diy and i always have this on hand for fixing and my camera stuff or whatever's falling apart i always this is like my saving my daughter picked out this little scrunchie. These are the new ones. They had peach and they had these blue. I think they're really pretty. A wood coaster set. This is new. And they had this one and they had round. So there's four pieces and they're actually, I love that they're already stained on the side because that's what I would do to this, to these hearts here. Kind of give it more of a finish wood grain. And these are so nice and thick. I'm really surprised to see this. Now you can use them of course as wood coasters or other types of wood DIYs. Yes, Dollar Tree, they are doing, I'm just so impressed with them sometimes. Oh, I got the, these hearts here, just the solid ones, but I also grabbed these. These were like the longer version, aren't they cute? I love them. They have a little opening in the middle, which is fine, but I just love the style of the length. So there are, this one's like a chubbier, wider heart, and then this one's like the long heart. So look at all this wood. Look at all this wood, more wood. These are little hearts. I have a feeling there's supposed to be 30 pieces in here. I have a feeling that the baggie was open because I could see that I kind of was a little bit when I was at the store, but I thought, you know what? I have never seen these little heart wood chunky guys. And I was like, okay, even if there aren't 30, typically I don't really use every single thing. Um, but I am curious and I will maybe like just when I transfer them into this little organization, that's where I'll put some of this stuff now, like the, my little wood beads and things like that. I think I'm going to be starting to put them in there because I use them for my gems and I love it. You can see everything. Like if you have them all stacked, it's really practical. The ribbon is from just the gardens area. And it goes nicely as well with some of the seasons. So if you want it for Christmas or Valentine's or Easter, you can mix and match them. So just keep that in mind. If you can't find something in the seasonal area, go over to the garden because they'll have stuff there. Scarlet picked out this pet scarf <laughs> for uh, Mr. Bear. We'll see if he lets us put it on. It has a little Velcro. It's really cute. And they had this one here and red. But we wanted a little bow for him because he's the bow like the boss of the house which is for like mr bear but she picked up the little scarf because we couldn't find the bow and then i got some whole miniature cobs of corn and this is only available at some of my stores not all of them they're good till oh, june 2022 i love this corn for 
stir fries. So I, I mean, they're just the long ones, which to be honest, when I purchase a bag of frozen veggies at the grocery store for a stir, stir fry, this is the favorite part. The, my kid's favorite part is the long corn and it comes with like two. So they're both like getting one on their plate and no one else has corn. I swear they, they just don't put too many corn in that frozen pack. So I just toss one of these into the mix and then we're all happy. We all get corn. Grabbed. Uh, well, no, I didn't buy this. I didn't purchase it for myself. Scarlett Perch wanted to have this one for organizing some of her things in her closet. I'm not a huge fan, to be honest, because the surface here is really, it's narrower than the rest of the bin almost. So I feel like you lose space. I'm always liking a little bit more wide. Anyways, she decided that that's what she wanted for her closet to organize some of her things. And I'm totally fine with supporting her choice, but it's not my go-to. Is it anybody else's go-to? I just don't gravitate towards these things. I feel like maybe they get full too easily. And then it's like just a disaster of a mess. I can't really organize things because then it's just like stacked up on top of one another. I like things a little bit more in an organized manner, but to each their own, right? It's my haul. I was think, oh, there's not very much to share with you guys. And then I have a whole bunch. Don't forget to check out the link down below for top cash back so that you can get $10 for spending $25. You're going to love it. Add the Chrome extension and it will make your life so easy when you're shopping on your computer. Anyways, until next time, everyone, I hope you enjoyed my decent size haul with all of you. And until next time, have a bye for now. More that I've tried All the years that I've wasted Trying to find it All that I go through For my peace of mind Let it all go Out the way Smoke in my eyes I can hear the wind chiming It's always been new in the back of my mind Early blue morning When everything's cold I see you running Covered